What I would hope people would take away from this whole exhibition is, is really two things. One is an understanding of what it's like to be subjected to trauma, and I think that's something we've all experienced in little or large kinds of ways over the course of our lives. But also I want people to get some sense of the optimism that can come out of something like this. Uh, there's an important phenomenon in psychology uh, known as post-traumatic growth, and this is the idea that uh, people can experience an unpleasant event, and depending on the perspective that they take relative to that event, it's something that can contribute to their own psychological development over the course of their lives. So Field Test is an exhibition that's all about the future of farming. The what, how, and why we'll farm tomorrow. For the last 100 years, we've gotten really good all over the globe at being very efficient with farming and to make things more technologically productive. But this has come at a cost, sometimes an ecological, an economic, or a social cost. So right now, all over the planet, people are rethinking how we eat, how we farm, how we make the things that sustain our lifestyles. Will we continue to eat things like cows and wheat, or in the future will we shrink down our meat and grow guinea pigs? Perhaps we'll increasingly eat things from the ocean like seaweed, or replace the milk and meat of cows from milk and meat grown in the lab. These are some of the propositions that this exhibition will confront the viewers with. Is stimulation of the brain to create an image, is that what you mean by seeing? Or does seeing mean what happens when the eye is open, looking at an image that is shared with somebody else? So where does seeing begin? Does it actually begin in the centre of the brain that perceives some sort of an image back in the visual cortex? Attention, paying attention and observation is an incredibly acquired skill. These skills can be developed and cultivated, and seeing can absolutely be developed and cultivated. So some part of the brain is being stimulated to excite certain impulses, and there is no reason why down the road electrical impulses, if they stimulate those particular cells, not through the eyeball, but if they stimulate those cells, how those impulses couldn't create a similar perception. It makes complete sense. Design and Violence originated as an online experiment with curator Paola Antonelli in MoMA in New York. And so this is a really exciting prospect for Science Gallery Dublin to be collaborating with MoMA on the development of this online experiment as an exhibition. The show is really exploring manifestations of violence in contemporary society. And it stems from that idea that actually, you know, there's a potential to do harm within industrial design. Oftentimes we think about design as being something solely for good, but actually when you start to delve deeper into it, there are instances where people are designing for violence or maybe they're designing to mitigate against violence. And so this show will look at different objects different online tools, um, different ways of being that in some way are connected to this theme of violence.